don't care about an argument, I'll still be here tomorrow for you. I got the room up in the city, we can play, finish the bottle. I pull you up, we'll work on us. So ain't nobody. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Good morning guys, welcome to this video. I just wrapped up a casting for Febreze. It was in Sherman Oaks, it was about a 30 minute drive. I think the, the audition studio was like up there somewhere. It's 10.52 exactly. I think, we'll see if Austin texted me. We were supposed to work out yesterday. Austin said he'd hit a uh, push day with me. So I'm gonna head home right now, probably have a small little snack before I head to the gym and then Austin and I are gonna kill a nice little push workout, mainly shoulders today and then a little bit of light chest and triceps as well. That's the plan right now. I will keep you guys updated if anything changes. I'll see you guys back home. This is typical LA traffic. I'm literally just gonna put it in neutral and hope I can coast down this entire hill right here. All right, so it's 11.40 right now. I'm about to head over to Austin's house. We just took our pre-workout, so I'm gonna go over there, chill for probably about 10, 15 minutes until our pre-workout kicks, and then we're gonna head to the gym. Most likely, we're gonna drive separately just because my workouts are a little bit longer than his, so I don't want him to wait around for me. But before I head to the gym, I did wanna give you guys my supplement stack, my current supplement stack. I do get a lot of questions on what type of supplements I take, so I'm gonna run through it really briefly. Now, it looks like a lot right now, but to be honest with you, it's just multiple types of protein powder. Uh, like for example, I use this EVL birthday cake whey protein in my oatmeal and the only reason why I have a different protein powder for my oats is just because I prefer the taste of birthday cake in my oats. And then we move over to the other whey protein. This whey protein is actually uh, the protein that I use in my post-workout shake. It just mixes a little bit better and it does taste better in a shake than the birthday cake. So that's why I have two different whey proteins. And then we got the, the vitamins right here, the multivitamin, which I recommend everyone should take. And and then I got the fish oil as well. I do one of these, eat one of each of these every morning so I don't forget after my breakfast. And then we got creatine, five grams of pure creatine. I mix with this in my post-workout shake, uh, usually 30 minutes after my workout. And then I got casein protein to round out my supplement stack. The only reason why I have casein protein is just because, like I said, this mixes a little bit better in my pancakes and when I cook things it tastes a little bit better. So that's why I have casein, there's not really another reason besides the flavor and uh, taste preference. Cookies and cream flavor is what I have right now, just a basic muscle tech brand. This is really, really good, but it's not as good as the bodybuilding.com cinnamon bun, uh, I would say personally. So that is my supplement stack, guys. Very, very simple. I don't really do amino acids. I don't really do any like fat burners or anything like that. Um, I just like to save my money on supplements and keep it as simple as possible. Like I said, just the multiple variations, multiple flavors of my whey protein. But if I really wanted to, I can really just get one tub of protein and use it for everything. <laughs> okay. One more thing before I head to the gym. I keep doing all these things, but it's been like, honestly, probably about four weeks since I've given you guys my last physique update, and I did want to keep you guys updated as much as possible, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick physique update right now. Uh, lighting's not the best. I'm weighing in at 191 pounds. Uh, it's gonna be completely flat as well, so I have no pump at all. So let's see if we can get this lighting to work. Here we go. I don't know, maybe down here. This might work. All right, so here we go. There we go. Like I said, 191 pounds. It's definitely not my best physique at the moment, but I, I did want to keep you guys updated as much as possible throughout this uh, very, very slow uh, reverse diet. Feeling really good. Uh, strength is way, way better than what it was last month. So just the workouts are going better. I have a lot more energy, a lot more motivation. So things are going really, really good, guys, and they're on track. I will try to keep you guys updated every few weeks so on my physique and everything like that. But like I said, I'm still recovering a little bit from grease, so I'm not 100% happy with my physique right now, but it's, it's still looking pretty good, so. 
Now I'm gonna put my shirt back on. Rocking the Beyond Limits shirt to the gym today, the olive green. I just hope Austin doesn't wear his green one as well. On Thursdays, we wear green. I <laughs> like, like a team, dodgeball team. There you go. What is up guys, welcome to this commentary. Before I get this commentary started, the entire workout that you guys are about to see will be listed in the description down below for those of you guys that are interested. I didn't quite get everything on film just because Austin ended up leaving after the shoulder workout and Charlie didn't get there until the end of my chest workout, which I'll explain a little bit later. But we started this workout off with, I think about 75% of the workout was uh, based on shoulders. So we started with some overhead machine press, which you guys saw uh, Austin doing just then. And then we did some overhead barbell press what you guys are seeing right now we went pretty heavy on both of these exercises Austin and I used the same exact weight he just did two less reps for everything so for example uh, the overhead machine press I did uh, four sets eight reps he did four sets six reps and then on the overhead barbell press I did ten reps and then he did eight reps and everything else is pretty much the same thing he just went a little bit lighter on the reps uh, we use the same weight though so this is one of my favorite isolation isolation exercises for the front delts the interior delts and it's pretty much just a front barbell raise but what you do to restrict any momentum or swinging movements you just lay your back on an incline bench and it just really really restricts uh, any sort of swinging motion and really isolates the front delt. And then we moved on to some lateral raises. I always do some sort of anterior delt and some sort of lateral delt movement each shoulder workout. So we did four sets on here. Uh, we actually did cables this time, which is a little bit different than normal. I usually do barbell or dumbbell, excuse me, or I do machine lateral raises, but we wanted to mix it up. And I actually really, really like the cables as well. So I may incorporate this a little bit more often too. After this, this was the last exercise for shoulders. Actually, we then moved over to some triceps. I believe we did about eight to ten sets of triceps this is a little bit lighter on the triceps my heavier days on uh, Monday and this was filmed on a Thursday we did six sets on here and then I actually didn't get the second exercise of triceps Austin ended up leaving after the shoulder workout but it actually ended up working out well because when Austin left I ended up finishing the rest of my tricep workout and then Charlie came to the gym and he ended up just working chest as well. So I was like, I'll join you for the first couple sets. Chest was really, really light though. I think we only did about eight sets in total. Fairly lightweight. This was, I think I did eight reps on here with 225. And then we moved over to some machine chest press and just went really, really lightweight and just kind of squeezed at each rep. And that's pretty much the workout, guys. So I was fortunate enough to actually have Charlie come and be able to film me. So it worked out well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. It really, really does help the channel out when you guys give these videos likes. Peace out, and I'll see you soon. What's up guys, 3.45 in the afternoon right now. Just finished up the workout. It was a really, really good workout. I ended up doing shoulders with Austin and then he wanted to leave about pretty much towards the end of our shoulder workout. And then I ended up seeing Chuck there. I ran into Chuck. Uh, so we did a little bit of chest together. So we were able to get majority of the video, or the majority of the workout on film. Most of it was filmed by Austin and then Charlie filmed a few sets of me as well. So it really worked out well. I am now home and just finished cooking up my post-workout meal or my second meal for the day. Honestly, this isn't my this isn't my usual post workout. I don't know for some reason I like to have potatoes and eggs or my potatoes and turkey burger after my workout, and I like to save my salad and rice for like my last meal for the day. It's just kind of a preference of mine. But I actually don't have any potatoes with me right now, so I had to do this meal. Not a big deal at all, though. Still got quite a bit of carbs in here. We're gonna start off with the salad right here. I've been doing salads probably for the last two or three months. It's one of my favorite meals or one of my favorite snacks out of my entire meal plan right here. So I definitely. Definitely enjoy this, highly recommend it. We use some Bold House Farms, I don't know if you guys can see it, let me try to get my fork. Garlic, roasted garlic I think, 40 calories for a serving. Highly recommend that dressing. Fat-free croutons, we did two servings of that with a little bit of mushrooms, bell peppers, and then we did three ounces of chicken here, and then we did three ounces of chicken here. So six ounces total. We did veggies, a little bit of broccoli, some asparagus on a bed of white rice, which is about 80 grams worth of carbs right here. So pretty decent sized meal. 
I think this is around 650 to 700 calories in total. Very, very low fat though. The only fat is really a little bit from the chicken and then a little bit from the dressing as well. So good post-workout meal. Austin invited me over though. I think he's having a few people over. I may go over there. Uh, it's on the way to Ralph's or the grocery store, so I need to stop at Ralph's for sure because I'm out of rice and I'm out of potatoes for tonight, so that's something I definitely need to do. So I think I'll probably just hang out at Austin's for a little bit, kick it with some friends, and then go to the grocery store, pick up everything I need, and uh, get some client plans done tonight as well. I got quite a bit of client plans, and thank you everyone that purchased during the sale, the 4th of July sale. I will be getting them out to you within the next three or four days. I'm just a little bit slammed because I do have a lot of work to do, but very, very happy about that. I love staying busy. I love helping you guys. Yeah, that's about it. Enough of my rant, guys. I'm going to finish enjoying this, finish watching my YouTube video right here, and then uh, we'll head over to Austin's and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. What are you doing, Sam? What are you doing, Sam? I'm going to get my phone and then I'm going to stay in the sun. What do you guys have? They're having a little barbecue down at the pool area. I'm going to be cutting up some lettuce right now and then the onions, and then we're bringing it down there. Guess how many comments are on that, uh, the post for the YouTube video from today? Cause so that we did the giveaway, or I did the giveaway. Um, have you already looked at it? Do you already know? Yeah, I looked. Oh. There's a lot. Like, what's average to you? Average amount of comments for my YouTube videos? Yeah. When I respond, it's like 100, so like 50. 50 non-responses, so okay. 50 actual comments and usually. And have you responded to these ones yet? Or no, what? I haven't responded to any of them. Should I aim really high? No, don't aim really high. You have to aim somewhat high. It's definitely higher than the normal Jesus 50 Christ. comments. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're so bad at driving. No, I'm not. You're distracting me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with... I feel like I'm going to guess way too high and you're going to feel bad. No. 206. No. I think there's like 180 something uh -huh. right now. It's pretty good though. It's only been up for like... Uh, like 14 hours, so I'm probably gonna choose a winner for the giveaway tomorrow at some point I'm probably gonna let everyone from like the other side of the the world because it's I don't know what time It's probably like Somewhere it's probably the morning time right now So I'm gonna let the video play a little bit longer probably 24 hours and I'll choose a winner two winners actually and send you guys uh, Whatever you guys want. Thank you guys for everyone that participated though I was like I woke up this morning. And there was already like 80 comments and it blew me away So thank you guys so much for participating I really do appreciate it and just for watching my videos in general but we're on our way to CVS right now it's literally like a two-minute drive I just didn't want to walk so I told her I would go with her if she drove and uh, that's where we're at right now what do you have to get there stuff that you can't say on. no I just kind of want pretzels she wants pretzels and I want to look for that magazine bread magazine oh, and okay. I want a refreshing drink because you won't tear sparkling water no I'll empty. give you my sparkling water no. she always drinks my sparkling water I have literally one to two drinks I'm playing on camera right now Alright, uh, I'm cooking something at home right now, so it's going to be a really quick trip because stuff's in the oven, and then I'll probably head home, eat, end the video, and then I have a bunch of client plans to do tonight, and hopefully I can watch the Game of Thrones you're not watching if it, I'm definitely. finished. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> I'll sign out. The Game of Thrones is really good that we're watching like, I think we're on episode six right now, so it's getting better and better. We still have like six seasons to go though. They're a bit expensive here. The best, lime, the second best, and then the worst. The the plain sparkling water is disgusting to me personally. I've never had the strawberry one yet though. Look at that form. The basket in the the basket in the arm. It's good arch. Hand on the hip. 
<laughs> Am I bugging you? <laughs> this is what happens when she drags me to the store, I just annoy her. Alright guys, it's currently 8.30 in the evening right now. I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here as well. Just finished cooking up, what is this, my third meal for the day, which is awesome. It's I'm probably, probably gonna go to bed around 12.30, 1 o'clock tonight, so I only have four hours left and I still have three meals to eat, which is dope. Always nice to have some leftover calories. But here it is, nice little turkey burger, one of my favorite meals at the moment. Love this right here. I should have added some uh, some lettuce and some mushrooms and some onions, but I'm all out. And then I got the russet potatoes right here, 450 grams, which is a half a pound. No, a pound, exactly a pound of potatoes. And then we got some broccoli right here as well to uh, hit my micros. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the physique update. Uh, what else went on in this video? Oh yeah, my supplement stack, all that kind of stuff. If you guys have any questions, uh, fitness related questions, you guys can always comment down below. And uh, thank you for everyone that purchased my online coaching at nickpelladino.com this week. I'm gonna be working hard tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday to get the plans off to you as soon as possible. So peace out guys, I'll see you soon. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. It always really, really does help the channel out. Peace.